Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on enlarging a shape by a negative scale factor. So we want to enlarge this shape A by a scale factor of negative 2 with a centre of enlargement 2, 2. Now as per my previous video on here, when we dealt with positive scale factors, I always plot the centre of enlargement first. So the centre of enlargement is 2, 2. So 2, 2 is going to be here. And do you remember the strategy was to count from the centre of enlargement to each of the points on this shape? So let's take this point first on this shape and then we're going to look at that point and then that point. Now always starting from the centre of enlargement, I'm just going to la label that as centre of enlargement but you don't need to label it. We always count from here and go to that point. So we can see that's two squares to the right from the centre of enlargement. Now if we take that two right and multiply it by this scale factor here, 2 multiplied by minus 2 gives you a negative number because positive times negative is negative and it's going to be minus 4. So the 2 right becomes minus 4 right. Now negative 4 right is the same as 4 left because you're going to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to go from the centre of enlargement always starting here 1, 2, 3, 4 left and we end up here. So it seems that when we have a negative scale factor we end up on the other side of the centre of enlargement. Let's take this point. Starting from the centre of enlargement, 1, 2, 3 squares to the right. 3 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6. So we end up going 6 in the opposite direction left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we end up here. And let's finally do this point at the top. That from the centre of enlargement is 2 right and 2 up. Now 2 multiplied by minus 2 we already know is minus 4. So the 2 right becomes 4 left, 2, 3, 4, and the 2 up becomes 4 down in the opposite direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and we end up here. So if we then join these together, we get this shape here. And we've got two things that effectively happen to this shape. Firstly, it's been rotated around the centre of enlargement. So we get a kind of rotation, but it's also scaled up as well. So it's become twice as big because, look, the width of 1 has become a width of 2. The height of 2 has become a height of 4. So it's twice as wide, twice as tall. But it's also rotated around that centre of enlargement as well and got further away from the centre of enlargement.